on. Sorry. Why is Hot Makes always in the middle of the workday at 4 p.m. Pacific and 6 p.m. Central? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hot Makes right here on the Edge of Tech. Every week at 4 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Pooch time. Na -na 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 -na. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nerdy J. This, whoa, wait. I'm over whoa. here. No, I was, I was gonna oh, say, I'm on the left today. I'm on the oh, left God. today. This is the Pooch. How you doing, Pooch? <laughs> I'm, good. I'm good. I'm over here, Jim. No, now I'm over here. Now I'm over I think here. I just threw up. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> uh, man, I'm I've been so excited for this. Uh, we had a great time uh, uh with uh with with willow over the weekend we we had to pre-record i'm kind of jumping the gun on this but she's in the netherlands of course and so we had to uh do our recording yesterday we kind of tweeted that out and announced that but i'm so excited for you guys to see this it was a really fun interview and uh, we'll get to that in just a second but uh what's what's news with you man what are you pumped about this week Man, I'm, I, I mean, the interview takes the cake for me. Uh, we had an amazing time yesterday, as, as Pooch said. Um, and, I mean, I, I, just the sheer amount of knowledge and making power that comes from Willow is just phenomenal. But uh, I got to say, in the beginning, if you're here, it's your first time. Uh, welcome. This is Hot Makes. We do this every Monday. Uh, if you At want 4 p.m. Pooch time. Yeah, 4 p.m. Pooch time, 6 p.m. Central time, and someone in the chat said 7 p.m. real time. Uh, but <laughs> if you want to be shown, we, we show stuff from all around the community in our in our uh, featured segment called Hot Makes. And all you have to do is go on the Twitters, soon to be Instagram. Shane is working on that diligently. Um, we're working out a bug right now. But all you have to do is hit hashtag Hot Makes, just like you see at the bottom of the screen right now. And what that does is it alerts us that, hey, something is awesome. It can be your something. It can be anything, anybody else's stuff. Uh, that's how we found Willow. People started tagging her, and it's just, I mean, amazing yeah. stuff. So if you want to be shown, if you want to come hang out with us Mondays, uh, do that. I know it's late for her. I, I think it was like 1 or 2 in the morning out there. But, yeah, but, um, yeah other, other than that, man, uh, we're excited for Thangs. Thangs is sponsoring us. Uh, until the end of April now, so every we love week, thanks. yes, thanks. Every week you get a chance at winning a fifty dollar Amazon gift card, uh, and and all you have to do is hang out with us. You have to be present in the end of the stream, but if you hang out with us long enough, uh, there's a registry. Let me think. It's in the description of the video, and we'll throw it out soon on the chats. Um, so all through the video, you'll be able to see that. But all you have to do is register to win. At the end, we'll pull fifty dollars. To Amazon, as long as you have an Amazon near you in the world, you can win. Um, there it is. Uh, what else? What else are we excited about? So much, so much. Uh, the, yes, thank you to our sponsors. Thank you guys all for being here. I just, I, I know we we spent a lot of time doing a lot of hot makes and stuff like that. Uh, we do have uh, an announcement, if I may. We have a few announcements, don't we? Well, then let's do them, man. I think we should. 
<laughs> okay, listen up, everybody. Turn up your volumes. Announcement. Attention. We have an announcement. Attention. We have an announcement. Oh, I'm, 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 uh, yes, mom. Yeah, okay. Mom, I'm doing a thing. <laughs> mom, I'm doing a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Always doing a well, thing. I'll tell you what. You you go with the first one. Uh, well, the first one I'm really I'm really excited about. Hey, we are now uh, a, a podcast, uh, and what? and it's it's only getting more and more, uh, you know, as we go. So we got hooked up. Our uh, our good friends over at uh, Makers on Tap uh, gave us some really good advice on uh, what platform to use to help distribute. And uh, I've been in the process of kind of moving stuff uh, onto all of the various places because there's a million different places you can actually like list podcasts these days. But, uh, you know, the big one, unfortunately, we have to, like, wait for our official approval from Apple. But that's been submitted and uh, pending their approval of Jim's hairstyle, hopefully within the next week or so, uh, we'll have that live. But we do have a link uh, that we can share uh, for those of you who just can't wait and want to listen along at home or, or at work because, you are you know, you want to be discreet. Uh, so, you know, one of the things that we said we do, Jim, like we've been talking about this for weeks, like is actually happening. So we're in the process of going through the back catalog and getting them all in there. Uh, Cause yes. we know you guys all want to go back and, and just listen to these at work all the right. time. Right. What else could be awesome in your ear holes than a good hour of hot makes, you know, anytime you want it right, right in your headset. I mean, That's why not? Why not? Roll six hey, um, of nerdy J and the pooch in your head. <laughs> I am. Uh, we do have some questions about the giveaway. So here's the deal. Uh, in all the excitement, I forgot to change the giveaway form. So just use the same one. It's the same one we used last week. If it tells you you are already registered, don't worry about it. You're already registered. Uh, if you're new here, then register. Make sure you're in. But if, it'll tell you. So go try. But if it says you're already there, then you're good to go. I wanted to throw that out there because a lot of people were commenting. Um, what's next? What's next? Uh, why don't you take the next guest too? Go ahead. Who's the next guy we got coming next week? Yeah, this is one I've been I've been working on. Wow, and he's gonna tell he's gonna tell us what's new, you know, with him. But uh, I'm really. I'm really excited for this whole month because we've just got a fantastic lineup of guests coming up. But next week, we're going to have Uncle Jesse on the stream. He's going to tell us about what's new with him, what he's been up to. Uh, that's going to be a good one. You don't want to miss that. Uh, if you don't know uh, Clayton, uh, next week's going to be your, uh, your your time to know him. He is a fantastic dude, uh, amazing maker, really uh, good with uh, cosplay, re uh, resin work, uh, masks and stuff like that. He pops in every once in a while. We see him in the chat from time to time. Loyal Moses, thank you Loyal. very much for the contribution. We love you. Yes. Thank you so much. I know you don't have to, but you can't stop me. Hot, hot, hot. Hey, there's no stopping the, the Loyal. Stream, when we pop back in, I got something to show you, uh, Loyal. So hang out. I, I got something. I printed it today. I wanted to show you for that. Uh, so, so we got Uncle Jesse next week. Um, in two weeks, we are going to do a one- year hot makes anniversary celebration right it's been a year it's been a year a year so what are year. we doing for the one year extravaganza Jim? uh for the one year extravaganza we're going to talk about a giveaway i'll let you know at the end of the episode so stay tuned for that and and we're going to bring sven from clock spring back for a major announcement it's the return major. of sven yeah, yeah. Return of Sven. No, he's I love it. Sven from Clock Springs coming back. We're going to check out uh, some more cool stuff of his because we can't get enough of Sven. And uh, we have a major announcement uh, going on in two weeks. So check that out for the anniversary. Um, in major. three weeks. In three weeks. What do we got? Just, we're just filling your social calendars right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, three Fill weeks. We've got uh, Devin from Make Anything, the, the wizard behind Tippy Tree. Uh, so I know a lot of you guys have, have printed out that that fun 3D printable game. Uh, he's got a ton of other projects that he's done. Really uh, awesome dude uh, as well. I had the the pleasure of meeting him uh, down in Matter Hackers a couple, was probably like, like over, well, probably almost two years ago now. It's been too long, my friend. It's too long. But we're excited to have him. And uh, and then who knows? You know, we, we we could. I don't think we're gonna bombard everybody with our entire schedule until you know Kingdom Come, but. Keep tuning in because we got a lot of awesome stuff coming up yes. in, in these next few weeks. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, I mean, I think I think we need to get into it, right? Let's get into we, it. We hey, have, just for clarity, really quick, because yeah. I'm seeing some murmuring in the chat. We are live right now. This is live. live. This is happening. Yeah. 
Like yeah, I don't yeah. have my newspaper with me because nobody has newspapers. Right. In my, like, We're this is happening right now. We are we definitely. Are, we, we pre-recorded the interview. We're gonna show I, that to you. I promise. We're gonna pretending. Do. We are pretending to be live right now. This cup is my witness because I'm drinking coffee. Loyal <laughs> Moses, we planned with him yesterday to donate the fifty dollars. Right? He just jumped in. <laughs> didn't even know we were here. <laughs> I'm here but live. Knows, not, I'm not a cat. Yeah. Maybe you'll be uh, wearing the same clothes even still. Who knows, right? I did not. I didn't leave this chair. <laughs> You've been left. sitting there ever I've been, since. I've well, been, that's dead. Let's get to the interview. They don't want to hear us talk, man. Right. They want to see Willow. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is our amazing interview with Willow. She's an amazing person, amazing maker. Let's do it. And we're super excited today to have super. a special guest with us. Today we have Willow, Mary, or we'll call her Willow today. What do you think, Willow? Everybody knows her as Willow, right? So, and we can't we can't really pronounce it the proper you know pronunciation. So she said, you know, Mary is kind of the American version of it. Uh, she said, Mer Meryl, I'm probably not doing the the thing right, but I'm super <laughs> excited. We've been talking about this for a long time. She has been yeah. a long time feature here on Hot Makes. Ladies yes. and gentlemen, please welcome Willow from Willow Creative. Hey, hey how everyone. Are you? Hi. Hi from welcome. the Netherlands. Thank you so much for being here. How uh, how are you? How is how is your first of all, how is how's life been? Obviously you're a very busy person. We're constantly featuring, you know, your work on the show. Um, yeah. It doesn't seem like you know the COVID lockdown has slowed you down one bit. Maybe it's been better. You've been more focused. I don't know. How have things been for you? Uh, it's been pretty much the same. Uh, last year, only uh, getting getting supplies is a little bit harder. Everyone here is probably also struggling getting gloves for the resin prints. <laughs> and uh, but overall, it's just been going. And I I've been selling. Uh, I do uh, selling three uh, D prints full time. So and. Uh, Thankfully, web shops haven't been affected that much, so I, I'm just steadily working on a real aid this year. Uh, the shops are closed here right now. We're in lockdown since December, I think. Oh, wow. uh, so I've been ordering everything online and shipping out stuff and sitting at home working and making stuff, really. Wow. Well, that's, so that's I know, really changed. Um, you know, I know we just brought you in, so let's not get too far. How about tell us who you are, what you do, for those of us uh, listening and, and even on the podcast too. Uh, who are you? Where are you from? Where can we find you? And what do you do? Uh, so I'm Willow Creator from the Netherlands. Uh, a lot of people call me uh, Willow or Mary. Uh, I am currently 27 years old and uh, oh. I've been making stuff. And uh, like I, I started out with drawing a lot in my teens, but I really wanted to do something with my hands started making stuff, making costumes. And then once I finally got my first printer, which of course, of course, the house fire A net A8, I started <laughs> getting more into 3D printing because um, at the time when I got my A8, I, uh, I was doing uh, a college education in uh, video games, game art. Oh, wow. So I was really, I was really, it was really cool to see that I could create my own 3D models and then actually bring them out in real life. Uh, while I was already making uh, real life crafts and all that stuff. So I could really combine those two and right. get 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 that go, uh, ball rolling on, on 3D printing and making more stuff and being able to take that digital design uh, out to the real life. That's fantastic. Now tell me, you, you haven't actually had any house fires with that A-Net AA. No, no, thankfully okay. not. <laughs> that might be my favorite intro ever. I had my first I, printer. I've, uh, I, I, I've a had a lot of problems with that printer, but uh, it, it, the nice thing about getting a printer like that as your first printer, you learn so much about it. And yeah. I, I've, I, I have had like 16 printers over the last few years. Some have been sold. Oh, wow. I have about 10 left in the house right now. And oh, wow. like with every printer you get, you learn about the machine and you know how to uh, tackle it eventually and and learn more about how it works, you know, and uh, right. the A8 uh, really gave me uh, a massive start with that, <laughs> with tinkering and all that stuff and getting it fixed. 
I think we're going to trade that trademark that right now. The house fire in it. A, it's a oh, special so. edition. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they love that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, it was really one of those first line A8s as well. So <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. Well, well, you were talking a little bit in the pre-show about the different printers you have. And, and speaking of printers, you have a, a Delta that you modified to print really tall, like taller than it was meant to be, right? And you modified yeah, yeah. that yourself to do that. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, so uh, in 2019, I really wanted to make the uh, astronaut war glaze from uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, they're one, I think they're the most iconic weapon from like one of the most iconic video games ever. <laughs> and I really wanted to make them light up. And to do that with lighting up and the custom shape that needs to be transparent, you got a couple options such as vacuum forming or 3D printing. And I really wanted to go the 3D printing route because of course I was already 3D printing. So what I did is around 2019, they also introduced the Anycubic Predator, which is mm. a large scale Delta printer, mm. which is getting hard to get right now. But back then it was a new machine and I was like, oh, that's perfect. I can take that machine. And just like some people have modified a little monster from TiVo right. uh, to print taller, especially with Delta printers, uh, you can really easily modify it taller because it's right. uh, a more for stable construction. So I took the uh, Predator and I bought a new profiles for it. So I could print uh, much higher than uh, the original height is 450 millimeters. And mine currently goes to 950 millimeters. Wow. So I do like a really tall, <laughs> prints like this and this is for an energy source from halo and this is all one piece in clear PEG, and it's got like stabilizing uh cup at the bottom mm -hmm. so when you print it up so it doesn't like wobble or something sure. and uh like when you get at these really long heights you get a lot of like skyscraper effect so it goes wobble 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 all, right. all the time so you got to really fine-tune those settings so you don't print too slow that you get uh wow. problems with uh with like the cooling and the heating but you got to print uh not too fast so it starts wobbling and uh also and not uh, too slow, to, so to so keep to wobbling. keep that steady movement going you know because yeah. otherwise it starts wobbling too much and just becomes unsolvable but, uh, yeah there, it gets pretty smooth right now so like yeah. I, I don't, you don't really see had you finished you haven't time. finished that at all that's that's just straight off the printer it's straight off the printer yeah it needs to that's be cut you know like all this needs to be cut out yeah and uh it's got a channel in the in the, in the back so you can shuffle that strip in there really easily i don't know if i got a cut piece here you can see the, that it's and you've like, already started integrating your electronics. Yeah, it's got it's got a channel where you can push the LED strip in. Oh wow, that's fantastic! That wow. is. Awesome. And then, like, I only cut it here, and then you can like shove it in and uh, attach the handle here, so you can like grab it like this. That that is wow. a perfect segue into into one of the next questions we had. Do you have a background in like art or electronics that you're doing this to you know so, together? Uh, no, actually, all my electronics work is uh, self-taught at home. So every time, like, Arduino comes out with a new a tutorial or whatever, and like, uh, one of my first uh, electronic projects was just uh, Christmas lights, and then shoved in there, glued together. And then later, I was like, well, I kind of want this switch to be somewhere else. So you just cut it up, and then do your first time soldering and <laughs> and replace a switch and stuff like that. And so it keeps stepping up a little bit more until you try out addressable LEDs and uh, RGB LEDs. And uh, then from LEDs, I jump to servos and motors and uh, <laughs> get that integrated in my prints as well. So every time, just a little bit more. And then you learn about how you need to control a motor and how a motor can go both ways, depending on sure. if you connect a positive or a negative wire on both ways, you could, if you swap them around. And then you're like, hey, how can I go both ways? within one circuit and then you start googling and that way you get uh get more uh, uh more projects to uh to try out i, got, I gotta <laughs> say willow you know the, you you absolutely embody what the maker spirit is a lot of times that the necessity is the mother of invention right so it's like you mm -hmm. had something specific you wanted to do you wanted to make a really big print and you know, back when you <clears throat> first set this out that we didn't have belt printing options and stuff like that. And so you went and said, hey, I'll learn how to do this. I'll modify it to meet my needs. 
same thing with your electronics, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, sometimes you see someone on Instagram or uh, on Twitter, and you are like, "Oh, and so he solved it that way," and then you try your own way of adapting uh, it. Uh, back then, I saw like someone uh, modified a castle, like uh, the, the tiny castle, yeah. to print really high. It was a, it was an easier modification, but it also had it has a pretty small uh, base. Right. And for those uh, glaze, I needed a wider base. So like I did the same thing, but uh, with a different machine, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and then you, you keep getting inspired by all these people that that show up with their projects and how they did it. And uh, you, you can think of how you want to do the things, you want to make the things you want to make, and then take that, uh, take what they do and apply it to your projects. And that's really nice. Absolutely. I always like to say we're built on the shoulders of giants and so we're not for the community around us to inspire and give us a lot of those ideas. You know, we've been, mm -hmm. you know none of us are starting from, from zero. So we are self-taught, but we are lucky to be part of something bigger. And then you, you know, you, uh, you're, Posting your stuff and sharing it with the world has that effect of inspiring other people too, which is fantastic. Yeah, and then you just keep building uh, on something that others have made and uh, and bring it together into one project. And rather than doing it all by yourself, which would be impossible if you didn't have the internet, you'd be stuck right. at the first step. Uh, you can build on top of what like others have uh, have done and shown and uh, share around here, and that's really nice. Yeah. So speaking of inspiration, are there any particular uh, YouTube channels, Instagram channels, like places on social media that you like to go regularly to get inspiration or just enjoy watching their content? I, I have some weird obsession with like YouTube channels that show mechanical mechanisms. So uh, I think it's like called King Mechanical and Fangs on, uh, on Fang and then a whole bunch of... Uh, there's numbers behind it and they they recreate all these sorts of daily mechanisms like a garage door or a uh, scissor mechanism and uh, they'll put it in cat and then animate it and really by cool. wa by watching those every time i get like inspiration on how i can apply that movement to something i want to make i hadn't heard of that before hey gary can you look up uh king mechanical or uh and fangs you said there's a bunch of numbers but maybe yeah there's a bunch of numbers so i'm not sure but the, the channels are essentially the same Okay. We can find it and share yeah. a link so other people can check that out too. That's really uh -huh. neat. Yeah, trying to find it now. Thank you, Gary. Nice. Well, that's we awesome. have AI helping us. I don't know if you knew that. You know, people have Siri and Google. We have Gary here. I don't know if you met. Him, <laughs> but, not, uh, Siri, not Siri, but Gary. <laughs> that's right. No, right. He's, he's inspired. I don't know if you remember. Now, you, you said you're 27 and you started in 2012, right? So you yeah, yeah. like. 17, 18 at the time? Yeah, you 16, started? 17. Uh, I started wow. making costumes, yeah. And then were you selling thing? them? Or were you just no, kind of. No, no, no. I, I was selling like digital commissions, like digital art. Mm -hmm. I was drawing uh, pictures for people's birthdays and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, later, uh, people asked me to make stuff for them. Like when I started making costumes, I started, started making props for others as well. And then right. later on, when I had my ANET, I started printing uh, horns for my costume. And then uh, when I when I had those horns printed, a lot of people wanted the same similar design. And with a 3D printer, I realized I could just have them printing while I was making my own uh, with right. making my own stuff. So I could just make it once and then let the printer do all the work behind me while I work on a new uh, new project. <laughs> you know, so I don't have to bore myself with rep replicating the same prop every time. <laughs> That sounds like wishful thinking. Like printers always just work, and you can just leave. Yeah, them yeah, they ha they happily chuck out duplicates every day. So, uh, and I would like to work on something new every time. Right. What well, do you have any favorite like projects or um, something you've made? Do you have a favorite, or is that like a hard thing to pick? Uh, I think the war glaze are definitely a favorite. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I have a battery plugged in. I think I keep a battery in here. So you can actually see it working. Oh wait, I'll just leave it in the rack. Yeah, I do have a battery. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> where's my uh, where's my soundboard? That's hot. I love it. Yeah, yes. it is really cool. Oh, and and uh, I don't know hot. if you guys use centimeters or uh, inches or whatever. It's uh, 140 centimeters, so it's like when I stand, it's like up here this high. Oh, it's Whoa. really so it's really wide. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, a, it's at least four feet. You know, I think a little bit more. More, yeah. Nice. That's mm -hmm. crazy. 
Yeah, that's you were saying amazing. the 900. So that's is probably the project I'm most proud of that I uh, that I made so far. <laughs> well, when when you talk about you know projects you're proud of, recently you've been playing with one, and this is the I think the first time we saw you. It was a while ago, but you were working on like a werewolf mask. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, you can see the now. old one. You can see the old one behind me. Yeah. And uh, I've been working on a new one because uh, that, yeah, the look that's was this a little one, right? off. Yeah, yeah, that's the new one, exactly. So, so uh, I mean, it looks like I'm just going to play this. If you want to kind of tell us what we're seeing over the top, we usually don't get reaction videos from the person that made the video, so oh, this yeah. is amazing. So, <laughs> let's see. So, oh, oh man, look at the fangs reveal. Yeah, yeah. So how, yeah. how does this work? <laughs> Yeah, tell us how it works. Like, how do you how do you even conceptualize? Like, what do you even call it when like he's growling and the like the part of the lip lifts up and stuff? Yeah, yeah, the snarling with the, with yeah. the lip. Uh, I actually had a little bit of inspiration with that. I, I wanted to do snarling with the preview set, uh, which was uh, with like a rolling uh, spring. And I had to pull a wire to make it snarl, 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 and it didn't really work out too well. And like with fur on it, it didn't. It was just a little. Uh, it it wasn't working too well. So I really wanted to redo that and make it more from mechanical parts rather than a part that you had to pull. And by uh, by researching that same King Mechanical uh, YouTube channel, of course, you see a lot of how linkages can uh, transfer movements. Uh, back and forth and, and the angles and reverse uh, linkage and uh, using using that I can like make an extra pivot so it can move back and forth uh, I have the head here right now that's fantastic um, so this is the head and like you can still move it back and forth and you can see that there's a part moving here and there's a wire that connects it to the jaw. Yeah. Sorry about that. So when I open the mouth, it pulls on the wire and then it rotates there. And the ears. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and the ears as well. It's the same. It's also linkage and it's extended from the from the pivot from incredible. the jaw. And then so like it how goes does down. It, do you move it? Up. I, I saw it was opening your mouth when when you yeah, opened yeah. your mouth. Is that connected to you somehow, or it's is that just, uh, when you wear it? Uh, my chin rests on here, and then oh. if, I, if I move my own mouth, it just opens up. So that's just a basic uh, mask uh, feature. Okay, and so your jaw is actuating. And it. I use that movement to transfer it to other parts of the mask, and that uh, and that makes it. Uh, wow, and recently you had you had the eyes working and blinking. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they even light up. Is that like a random blink? Does that blink when you blink? How does uh, that work? It is random, yeah. A lot of people are like, oh, does it blink when you blink? Uh, Technic, that would be cool. But at the same time, it's 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 kind of unnecessary because you don't see the eyes. So why would you add all that extra technical right. uh, integration only so you can, can't see your own eyes? It is possible. Right. I've seen. I've done a little bit of research on like iris goggles on YouTube. You can 3D print them actually, and I think the guy that makes the iris goggles uh, actually has like uh, files and uh, what what kind of electronics he needs so it's uh, infrared uh, uh, sensors that shine into your eyes and then it detects the reflection of your eyes so if they're close right. or not, you know. So uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. How's the how's the visibility when you're wearing it? Is yeah. it uh, absolutely moving? terrible? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would imagine. Huh. What a great project, though. And you, and you, and then you have an iteration you were doing with, I think, a cat as well. Is that right? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit more of a simple uh, mask. Uh huh. Uh, this is it. Uh, I have no job in it at the moment. This is a progress order, so uh, but you can like. Yeah. So. Nice. Yeah, and it has a jaw as well, and uh, it, it all gets connected to uh, to it That's, later. I mean, it's really professional level stuff. I mean, you're getting into really it looks really pretty. Yeah, uh, and uh, I'm very happy with this. It's mostly because of the filament uh, that makes it such a smooth looking surface. What filament is that? Uh, it's lightweight filament from Colorfab. Wow. And it make uh, the wolf hat is also printed in the lightweight uh, filament, and it, it's just a really wonderful filament for costumes because it's so lightweight. It's about uh, 
less than half than original, like if you print it in full uh, weight PLA. And so, so have, you, have you sanded that a lot? That's a lot. No, of no, no, no. It's yeah. all from the printer. That's straight from the printer. So it's wow. Yeah, okay. straight from the printer. It's Let's it's see. got more of a matte look. I see like a little gloss to it, but you can't even see. And maybe it's just the the way the the focus the doesn't really focuses. catch it. But it looks yeah. super clean. That's great. That looks awesome. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it has absolutely professional fi finish that's really nice about it. So on top of being uh, having the lightweight uh, features. So, so it's my favorite filament at the moment uh, <laughs> for all my prints. There, that's a good endorsement right there from Willow. Guys. Yes. Go check yeah, out yeah. Oh, no, they already got my endorsement. They got all my money and they got all my... Uh, <laughs> Color Fab was very happy with me promoting it. <laughs> I'm sure they were. I'm sure they were. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so can you can you tease anything that you're working on? I mean, I know you're constantly, you know, going back and improving other stuff. Like, are there new projects that you haven't really like, gotten to that you're really excited to? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm currently because like a lot of people are, are asking what you can do with a cat mask that I'm making. Yeah. So yeah. I've decided to uh, take that a little bit further and also make my own cat. Uh, for for suit head, mm -hmm. and I'm working on that as well. Uh, let me grab that real quick. Uh, I haven't, yeah, I've sh I've shared it on Twitter before, but not on Instagram or Facebook yet. Ooh. And this is like the cat mask that I'm making. So Look it's got the it's got the same shape as this mask under it, and yeah. then uh, it gets the fur on it. And this one has oh. the jaw on it, so you can like open the jaw as well that's incredible i mean if i can take it off the mannequin that has to be such an interesting process going from kind of the skeletal structure to yeah. to, to putting a skin to something and a, and texture yeah, yeah. And i'm still it. working on that for the werewolf of course the werewolf yeah. uh, has no skin at the moment it is a little bit trickier with all the moving parts uh to keep it all like looking fluently but at the same time being able to move is pretty tricky yeah um so like this is the mask and it's extremely lightweight and that's really like normally these masks are are made in a very heavy plastic yeah and uh like this is the edits well i'm sure I, anybody I that's wearing on one all day at like a furry convention or something like that appreciates the fact that it's not <laughs> super heavy you can, you can see not the black great. mask in there and the hinges and the elastic bands that you can, uh, oh wow so you, fabric you, is obviously fabric is obviously a good skin to work with because you, you've got some flexibility. Have you done a lot of work with uh, like silicone or latex or any of that kind of thing to get uh, kind of more flexible, um, realistic? I think I, I did. Mm -hmm. You do something with eyelids recently? Yeah, yeah. The wolf has latex eyelids, so that's yeah. like one of my uh, first. Uh, oh. Let me see if I can. It's the lights. So you can kind of see the. Eyelids moving. And then the way that you blended it in with the hard plastic just makes it look so. It's going to yeah. have fur over it. So, like, yeah. the blending right. here is going to be invisible. But, like, uh, the nice thing about latex is you just you can add a little bit of more liquid latex and then just kind of build kinda, it up. Kind of uh -huh. build it up and, and smear it around the edges, you know? So, that's, that's awesome. Nice so about it. Oh, the eyes. Look at it. She lit it up. Um. The, yeah, light, the lights are a little bright, so I might tune it down <laughs> a little bit. Like you can see the spot on my eyes. And so yeah, yeah. This. So when we're talking about the, like the cat mask, um, you had to teach yourself how to sew and, and do all of that too on top of this, right? Yeah, yeah. So I do a lot of things at the same time. And it's also, I think, why my products are always so successful because like I'll be able to to take all these skills with sewing and and LEDs and 3D printing and combine them in, in something that usually people can't combine or can't get into one single product. So that's really convenient when you when you just try to learn as much as you can and, and yeah. apply it and uh, have to apply all that in one single project. A lot of costumes, of course, they, they require prop making, sewing, all that stuff in one single project. So it's kind of necessary to be uh, like one of those all in one, uh, one of the one of those all in one crafters, you know? <laughs> I uh, So we have some of those projects with us. Um, can we talk a little bit about, uh, you sent me a whole bunch of pictures and we mm -hmm. don't have to go through them all because you, I mean, it was amazing how many you sent, but, but like, 
this one here, what are we what are we looking at? And like, how long does something like this take to make? Uh, so this is a Monster Hunter armor uh, from 2019, and uh, it's one of my first projects that I really. Uh, use 3d printing on a larger scale like all the bones are 3d printed and uh most of the decorations are 3d printed the sword itself is not 3d printed except for the handle and the mechanism inside uh the rest of the sword is xps foam which is like the insulation foam that you get at home depot and all that stuff sure. pink stuff and then like you can carve all that and get that nice texture over it and then uh, paint it up but for this project i also did a lot of uh Wifting for the hairs. So uh, when when you see, uh, yeah. for example, uh, Wookie from Star Wars had all those long hairs. Yeah. All those hairs are individually strands and blended together, soon together into workable strands, so you can apply them to a costume. And I also had to learn that for this one. Wow. And for example, making your own dreads and all that stuff. And like, you can find all YouTube tutorials for this. So if, when you see, for example, hey, I, I need to make dreads for this costume. So you start watching a whole bunch of YouTube tutorials on how you make dreads and uh, with <laughs> your own crease your hair and all that stuff. I mean, and, the amount of yeah. hours you must have in uh, to doing yeah. this, the amount of Absolutely. time. Absolutely. There's like 250 bones in there and like back at the, the if, if I would do the same costume again now, I would do it with silicone and cast a bunch of resin copies, plastic copies. But back then, I didn't really know about that. And I had to sand all of these and paint all these bones individually. <laughs> uh, it was just a pain in the ass. I think uh, my ANET actually worked on a bunch of these bones That's as well. Also, the quality is terrible. Pooch doesn't sand. Pooch does not sand. <laughs> he hates sand. It's one of my favorite costumes still. <laughs> This is the one with the sword behind you, right? Or the, yeah, yeah the... exactly. That's the one with the glaves behind it. And yeah. uh... and there's two of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I have two of them. There's one behind it that's not on. I think and, I don't And have, the wings. Uh... I mean, and everything yeah, else, yeah. of course. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at those so, wings. Yeah, the wings are actually uh, movable as well. I unfortunately have them uh, not set up at the moment, or I would have shown you. Yeah. Uh, the wings are movable. Like, you can fold them and and uh, retract them using a uh, remote control and the entire oh, mechanism really? and the entire mechanism is also 3d printed and I, I know i've seen a video or two of it and I, I think you've used that mechanism for other things as well because you've done wings for other I, i've done a couple of wings these are yeah. probably my uh, fourth or fifth pair of wings i think i've done a couple uh, changes and iterations wow. uh, to it and uh, that's another thing i like 3d printing this much because like you can have the motor, but if you don't have the mechanism, you can't buy it in a hardware store, then you're stuck. And, and it's not like you have a CNC that can drill out aluminum uh, at hand, you know? So 3D printing gives, really gives that last uh, link between design and making it act working, actually, without, like yeah. without having to send it off to some CNC factory uh, to have it precisely drilled for you. CNC, CNC Music Factory, right? So, <laughs> so uh, the, uh, one of the things I wanted to point out, and we've talked about this before on the show, is that um, the photography is such a big part of what you do after the fact to really, yeah. to really sell, mm -hmm. to really emphasize the, you know, the materials that went into it, the 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 attention to detail. It looks like you've got. Didn't know. Do you have a background in photography? Do you have uh, no, no, no? These stuff? are done by uh, photographers that do this as a hobby. Usually, some of them are uh, actually employed as photographer in like uh, a portrait studio or or whatever, and they usually photograph cosplayers uh, for payment or as a as a for portfolio, uh, your portfolio kind of thing. Like is, you have a nice costume, I can, photo I can photograph. So we kind of exchange those uh, skills uh, to our mutual benefits, you know? Right. And uh, an example, this photo was made at a convention uh, where a lot of photographers also walk around to uh, snatch a couple pictures for people in uh, costumes that they like. And uh, so they give the photographers especially like uh, cosplays a lot because they'll get a little bit more uh, origi originality and creativity and a little bit more freedom on what kind of 
look Dirk wants it per se. Like if you're going to shoot a wedding, then it's going to be the same every time. Right. If you're going to shoot someone's, if you're going to photo shoot someone's pet, it's going to be the same every time. With, co uh, with costumes, you have a little bit more artistic freedom in what kind of setting you want to create and uh, what kind of uh, moves you want to portray eventually. So that's a whole different skill that the photographers do for me. And personally, I don't, uh, I don't know too much about that. And uh, I think <laughs> I, I've, I think I've uh, got too many things on my list that I want to try out and learn before I ever oh touch my. photography myself. Yeah. <laughs> but it just really sells what you're doing. It really just shows like this. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, this yeah. is the wings, uh, I think, yeah. The, you know, the other interesting thing now, Jim and I are cosplayers, so we've been learning kind of as we go from the show. You know, the, the extent of my cosplay is maybe I'll throw a little gel in my hair from time to time. But, but uh, you know, the interesting thing that I watch is like so much of it is the art of the performance as well. So it's like you have the outfit, but then watching how into the motion and becoming the character and, and all that stuff, which is probably what, you know, you were saying before, makes it so great for the photographer because there's like a passion behind becoming what you created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm 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 a little bit uh, I'm not much of the role playing kind. I mostly uh, because of course I went to college for uh, video game design. Uh -huh. So what I really like about portraying a certain uh, a character and uh, besides the challenge of making something virtual work in real life, for example, with LEDs and range and all this stuff, it's it's a challenge for me. And besides that challenge, I also really like to honor the original designer of the character. Like, hey, I really like your character. I I think it looks really good. I think the the outfit, the colors, the 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 design works really well. I, and I want to give it like honors to that, you know, and and uh, be like, yeah, I like your character so much that I, I want to make a costume of it and and dedicate all those hours to uh, to create it and make it real. And have any have any of those creators actually seen your work and 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 thanked you for it and reached back out to you? Have you ever? Uh, yeah, some of the smaller game studios such as uh, RuneScape and Warframe, they uh, they contact me a lot and uh, they they always refer my work to the original artists and it's really nice to see uh, what uh, how they think about it and that uh, usually it's always really good. So uh, oh, I'm always very happy with it. Yeah, I yeah. so yeah, I really like working with those uh, game studios and uh, the, and I'm really happy that they can share my work and, and, and appreciate it so much, you know, it gives it that extra boost for your next project. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I, I, I mean, the, the amount of stuff you know how to do as a maker, it just blows my mind. I mean, we've, we've seen fabric, uh, what the latex stuff. We've seen the mechanical yeah, kind of, stuff. Uh, little fabric uh, dress costume over there, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it's absolutely amazing. And it, it really, um, just talking to you more and more, it really kind of goes into detail on how awesome these things turn out. Because if you didn't know all this stuff, you'd have to bring other people in or that kind of thing. But you can sit mm -hmm. and, and hang out. And, and, and I feel like you have the mind of somebody who's just like, how does that work? I'm going to make that work. And yeah, you get you. you just get so much input yeah. from social media and, yeah. and things you want to research, and yeah, yeah, sometimes it. it gets a little overwhelming, and then like, <laughs> you gotta take a break and be like, "Yeah, I have a headache now." <laughs> but uh, that's a nice thing. You get so much input from social media and YouTube, uh, from everything that you that's out there today. That that really sets you on making something uh, well, and and doing it. You know. Well, speaking of that, and, and it's interesting too, is we've had a lot of conversation about how sometimes, you know, the, the, you, uh, social media is great because it's like you get all this good feedback. But sometimes it's too much. Sometimes there's negative commentary. And so finding a way to get Zen around, like, ignore the people that are just being jerks and, you know, taking stuff. But have you come across, uh, you know, we kind of dipped in this earlier, but have you come across anything that uh, you've seen recently that you're like, oh, I really want to try that? Like, right. I haven't done that before. That would be really neat. Um, I'll have to check. I mean, usually, I don't remember such things. Yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot, right? It's, oh, yeah, I'm here's sure, yeah, yeah. one. Uh, I'll show you this. Uh, this is an artist I follow on Twitter. Okay. And uh, she makes really cool mechanical masks and other things. And uh, every time she posts something that really uh, intrigues Jerry, pull me. That, and, pull that uh, link in, if you would. I'm working on it. Here's two of them. Uh, she makes masks and other mechanical stuff, and uh, she really shows uh, 
every time she is, she'll come up with a different linkage and other material. And then I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm saving that. And I'm going to try that for a different project, you know? You know, this is great because you don't have to find somebody to be the back half of the horse this way. It's like yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, I've done. I've actually done uh, like uh, uh, like a centaur uh, costume before, like this, but it didn't have moving legs. So that would be something uh, I really uh, want to revisit and uh, yeah. do it again. Yeah, I love how it's translating your knee motion to like of uh, the the hind legs of a. Uh, you know, you have to transpose it for that. That's mm -hmm. very clever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's really she has really cool linkage design. Whoa, <laughs> like uh, alien. Yeah, no. For example, you could really apply this to a predator mask. Good. Wow, yeah, that is not that's alien. Uh, so, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, we follow yeah. each other on Twitter, and uh, it's really cool <laughs> to just keep pushing each other to uh, <laughs> to make those cool things uh, work. You know. <laughs> Dude, that looks like your uh, Tinder feed right there. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I was just gonna right. say that's why maybe that's nope. why the link swipes. Like yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I always I, I mean I also have to say it's always bad to be the back half of the horse. We're just gonna throw that out there. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but you know, are you gonna hang out with us for some hot makes? Sure, of course. You know, we'll we see what other people make. We always love to get other makers in on the hot makes because it's, it, like you said, it's great. So you can see, and other people love, would I'm sure love to hear what you think of their makes, right? So right. with that said, let's pull in a batch uh, for this week. Uh, for anybody that's new that's watching and whatnot, if you want to yeah. see your stuff featured, just hashtag hot makes on the Twitters, soon on Instagram, and uh, we'll feature it here. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so we got to start off another show with our friend Sven over at Clockspring coming out with another like viral print. The last week well, it was the vase, right? Uh, this week the steampunk strawberry. Uh, this thing is is awesome. It's also a case in in true fashion. He, you know, it's got to be some sort of container, right? Right. Uh, but and, and print in, and print in place mechanical. Will have you seen uh, uh, clock spring stuff before? Yeah, I, I imagine you've seen. Uh, I'm sure I've seen it around, time. but yeah. Uh, yeah, I follow so much social media. The, the <laughs> names sometimes just get blurry for me. Yeah, I'm sure. But I do. really love this print in place stuff. Uh, yes. Uh, my printers yeah, awesome. suck for tolerance, so I, I I give credits to everyone who made it manages to make this stuff work. <laughs> Sven has been a regular on the show, and he is like you nonstop. He's constantly producing just read things, and it's really neat right. to just see how his mind works. Right? It's, it, it's adorable. Yeah, I like it. I love I it. it. it has I, a, I one of those when, you, when you twist it, it kind of locks in place, or isn't yeah. it? Just yeah. Not, Yep. Oh, so lovely. I actually printed one the, the, the morning he released this. I'm like, I got to print this right now. And I, I forgot it at work. I printed it at work and I totally forgot to bring it into show. But it really it's awesome. It locks in place. It, and when you unlock it, you open it up and it, it's it's a gorgeous print. And, uh, you know, actually Sven will be with us in two weeks. So I believe that's uh, the 22nd, if I remember right from the earlier announcements. Um but I, um, he'll be on the show with us again, so that'll be a really fun show to do. But but uh, the next one we have actually is the same thing. But of course, <laughs> we, have, we have Steve in the light speed who had to, had to go on and just blow this print out of the water. Um, I love the colors he uses, uh, and we say that about a lot of our, our makers that we feature. What do you what do you say about different color combinations when you're making stuff? I don't usually. I just use basic gray every time. It's it gets same, painted, yeah. you know. It, it gets painted. painted. Yeah. <laughs> I, ne I never care about the colors, but this is really pretty. I think this is like mystic green. Uh, is it mystic prusament or something? What kind of filament is it? He says in the uh, in the lead in the lead in. Uh, I believe yep. he he did this on um, on his rail core. He didn't say what filament. Purple. Nor nor three D glitz purple. Glitz purple. Glitz purple. Glitz purple. I don't know. It's yeah. Looks very pretty. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A phenomenal print. I, I, and, and I think it's printed on a day dayless, isn't it? I really want uh, to replace all my shitty printers with day dayless printers. There were so many. <laughs> like this, this is printed on the real core. Yeah. yeah, the real. Oh yeah, the real core is like the DIY version. Yeah, yeah. 
But they well, print, it, they they can print this at 120 millimeters per second. It's oh insane. man, it flies! It flies! Yeah, it does. In this insane. one, uh, uh, he has two files. So this there was a print in place one that I did, and then there was the multicolor one like this, and uh, it's such a such a cool thing. And yeah, at 120 millimeters a second, that is flying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, Sven, Sven's models, Clockspeak models, are one of my favorite things to show off to people when they're, they're new to 3D printing because it really highlights something that you can do with 3D printing that you can't yeah. do with any kind of other manufacturing process where you can build it all in one piece and have internal mechanical components that right. you would never, not otherwise be able to assemble. Hey, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that with my prints as well. Uh, I really take advantage of the d design uh, that you can use uh, for 3D prints that wouldn't work otherwise. Right. Yeah. What do we got next? I think I don't remember seeing these guys before on our uh, on our show, but Pantarius. Uh, no, they're new. I haven't seen them yeah. either. Yeah, yeah. But check this out. It's a concept oh. idea. The pickled at the pickled panda. Um, yeah. Let's see. It's a Warcraft. <laughs> it looks like a Warcraft thing. Yes. That looks beautiful. Yes. Well, I love the mohawk. Like I know, Jim. Like that's. I imagine if you had a mohawk, that's what it would look like. It would just extend <laughs> all the way down your back hair, probably yeah. your butt crack, yeah. right? Yeah, but yeah. I need someone like like Willow to come and like show me how to do it because yeah, <laughs> it's a secret. Just I, yeah. I got I got a, a really large mane here. <laughs> your oh, your mane. Yeah, that's uh, right. We we'll just call it your mane. I, I love it. No, yeah, it's the uh, it's the werewolf mane. Uh, that's uh, mane. It's the creature hair. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> Put it that's not individually threaded like you were talking about. <laughs> there, was it? Yeah, yeah, that's individual strands of hair. Are you kidding me? The, I mean, how long does it take you to put that together? Uh, it's not that bad, actually. It's just like you take a really big uh, strand of hair, you run it through the sewing machine, and then. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, so it's not like I, I I sometimes do like the hair where you have to do it like hair by hair. Yeah. It's, it's right. only for if I want to make like really high detail wigs and stuff. Sure. This is really pretty. I yeah, that is amazing. My, is. my uh, that says nine inches, uh, twenty-three centimeters and nine inches. Uh, like that's yeah. a little bigger than I expected. We need the hot mix official yeah. banana for scale. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. What I what I think is awesome about this interview is that we're like talking, we're like, yeah, we're talking about mohawks, and she's like, you know, what? I got a mane. It's right over here. Let me I got it. A mane. <laughs> I got it's, a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I love that. All right, what do we got next? Um, Fab three sixty five released a print in place movable ATAT. -AT. Uh, here you go. Oh, so, yeah, are, you big Star, are you big Star Wars gal? Uh, no, actually not at all. But not I see the sprints okay. on Twitter all week, and I love it. Yes, yes. <laughs> I see the sprints on Twitter every every day, pretty much. I love it. Fab yeah, three sixty five is another prolific contributor. He uh, is really big in print and place stuff as well, just like Clock Spring. Uh, and, but specifically, like he does like a lot of like the folding models too, which is really neat to see, uh, where they'll print flat and then you can kind of fold it all together, which is always a fun thing to show off. I I love it, and it's print and place. I think I'm gonna have to. I don't know what scale this is, but I need to. Well, print those are it. renders, right? Like those are yeah. Uh, I don't surrender. Yeah. 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 Well, he. This is like she said. This has been all over Twitter all week, and yeah, um, it, it's it's phenomenal. I can't wait to start seeing some prints show up. I don't. I don't think those are renders because I can see the layer lines. What in the layer? You can still you can still render layer lines. You know, there's like rendering uh, plugins that'll. But look uh, at I think I see them with feet. How would I know? Well, I'm this. just a computer. I <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you can if you can fool our AI system with you know, re I mean, I see what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I see you're, it. You, you think you think it. those are uh, legit? I don't know. What do you think? Tell us in the chat what you think. Yeah. If this is a render or not? Wait, maybe that's a new segment for us, right? Render or not render? I like it. <laughs> render or not? I love it. I love it. All right, what do we got next? Oh, Tom Tom so uh, he posted this amazing dragon that i mean it literally flies right and uh it's a it's a second flight test flies. dragon 72-1 yeah um let's see if i can check this out. enhance enhance oh there, there we go. go oh that's so cool oh yes that's got a willow vibe to it you know yeah, yeah. the wings the, the dragon, the dragon. <laughs> Of course, okay, I have a dragon right there. Yeah. <laughs> You're ready for more. Right so is it me. an RC plane or is it uh, like a kite? Yeah. Or? I believe it's an RC plane. We're gonna we're about to find out in a second. 
I'm just curious. Look at his a, camera ring. <laughs> it gives us like, this awesome. is something here. This is a he's, whole production. He's filming it um, right from his hip. Oh, it's cool. That is what? awesome. Okay, he's flapping. Listen to that thing. <laughs> so. Oh, okay, yeah. Not, so he's controlling it. He's controlling it. Talk about servo work, huh? Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> that is so cool. Yes! I, I was... I love it. Dude, I, I, I take it back. I was being, like, silly with my flies thing, but, like, look look at that thing go, man. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Give me some fire for that. <laughs> you strike real hard. Holy... Oh, oh, yeah, you you got to breathe some fire. That is so I think, cool. I think I made a mistake not making this a hot or not this week. Chat, let me know what you guys think. But to me, this is hot. For oh, sure. that's hot. That, that's, that's hot. incredible. Okay, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Oh, oh there it oh. goes. Man, Dan, the right down. Yeah, that's that going to be one that. of the hardest parts about watching something you've spent so many hours. And then, you know, it's satisfying to watch it fly, but then inevitably it's going to crash and you got to fix it. <laughs> Failures are almost in progress, right? <laughs> that, is, that was awesome. Nice work. Uh, I need to find this person on, on the Twitters, um, but I don't know if he just, he just tagged the video. So uh, yeah, uh, sure. great work. I need to look that up. Ornithopter. That's Ornithopter. interesting. I hadn't heard that term before. Ornithopter like is, yeah, that's when you have like the birds uh, RC playing with the flapping. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. So it's a special type of RC plane with the actual uh, bird uh, wing movements. Learning nice. something new every uh, every episode here. Maker every potato. Episode. Yes, maker potato, maker tater. Uh, an overnight print of a box they found uh, the the cylinder box by Lex Luthor on Thingiverse. Uh, absolutely gorgeous colors again. Um, a print in place model. I love this. Uh, I love the watch fan style. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I really like how they uh, took advantage of like the, the layer shift change to make this yeah. uh, second color pop. That is yeah. really cool. I think it, about the it, math involved, or I'm, I'm sure, you know, when you're rendering it, you know, you can work that out and stuff. But obviously, you know, it's one thing when you have a hinge. It's a whole other thing when you have multiple articulations that lay yeah. it down uh, further away. That's really fantastic. And then the knurling detail on the outside is just... Right. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, nice Very work, cool. Maker Tater. <laughs> Two thumbs up. You can boy. You can put it. Which you could, what would you put in there? Put your supplies. You know, whatever. Something. You could make it a ring box or something. Yeah, a little no, ring no, box. I, sure. it's tiny. I love it. Nice. I love it. Or Let's see what the chat. You make put. it big enough. You can make. A, you could put a watch in it or something. Yeah. <laughs> a watch case. A watch case. Watch box for your watches. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, All bet, right, uh, I'll bet the people in Amsterdam have an idea what they could keep in there, huh? Well, <laughs> yeah, they would paint a different uh, design on top, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, Abby is becoming a regular too. Abby Brown, math teacher yeah. extraordinaire. You can print it big enough for Stroop waffles. That's yeah, what I'm talking about. Could. They're like, I think that size. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bigger, with Stroop waffle holders, I'd like to see it. Where's Willow? Where's your Stroop waffle? I saw you had your tea earlier. No Stroops Oh, today? I don't have any. Sorry. Oh, that's the saddest waffle. thing you've ever said to us. Come on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, Abby Brown, again, um, killing it with, with one of these. Um, I, I just I can't get enough of these. I need to try this. Um, so you're looking at the support here as it's yeah. building up. Oh, is it like a double extruder setup? Yeah, it yeah. is. It's, yeah. So, yeah. so we're watching it go. This is this is called the uh, the 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 poor man's time lapse, where you know you just got like a picture <laughs> and <you> scroll. <laughs> it's getting yeah. crazier it's, every. And all of this, you know, like like Pooch said, a lot of this is uh, the outside of it. It's um, the support is support, yeah. and then when when she gets there, look at that. Wow. Oh. It's getting crazy. I forget, I forget what the term is that she was trying to show off, but she's using this for her math class uh, to teach, um, you know, this geometric shape. And and I, I apologize. We we'll scroll back because it's called something, and it's been well, way too long since I've done you know my high school geometry. <laughs> I I love it. It's um, look at and, and here's the under underneath right. That's and crazy. That's top. just the support, right? And that's fun. And then this, is, yeah. Yeah, this is the final product. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. I, I love it. And uh, let's see. Quartic surface. A, yeah. Quart, a quartic. Quartic. Quartic yeah. surface. I like Yeah. That, really that, cool. that kind of thing. Yeah. I've seen, also, a lot of, uh, I've seen a lot of prints being made for mathematics, you know, medical classes and stuff. It's really cool that you can just make that at home right now instead of having those really fancy display uh, models. Yeah, I think it's and, and, and the teaching tool. It's really neat because I think it's it's great to be able as a teacher, I'm sure, to have new tools to bring in stuff that can be a little bit more tangible, a little bit more relatable. Yeah, to yeah, you can visualize what you're talking about, and that's yep. really neat. And it's still staring at me. Uh, it's looking at right at you, Jim. It's trying to hypnotize you. <laughs> Next, we got Shory. Yeah. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, I know him. Uh, Everybody knows David Shory. I've been a Shory fanboy from the from the get go. He does just amazing work with multi material, like yourself, fabric work, and all that stuff. But he, he really mm -hmm. pioneered a lot of the um, you know three D printing on fabric and and dragon scale. I'm sure you've seen like a lot of that stuff before, Willow. I, I I've saved a lot of it. I've wanted to apply it to the project, but I haven't had time or reason <laughs> to apply it to a certain uh, costume. Yeah, I'm sure you'd love to see it. Usually, so usually I take all these little things that I see and then I save them somewhere, and I'm like, I kind of want to work with it right now. But I can't find a reason to apply it where I want to apply it, you know? And and just straight up copying it is not like my thing. I want to do it my own way in, in, uh. in something that I can use. And and so it just sits in a folder somewhere until I can use it, you know? <laughs> your your bookmarks bar, you know, must yeah. just look yeah, yeah. Right? like <laughs> she's got three browsers full. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but but the thing about this is you have an excuse you can make a dragon. Like a full dragon like a Full on dragon, yeah. and then make uh, it fly, Willow. Then make it fly. Do an ornithopter. Yeah, I have a dragon. Yeah. I okay. yeah, I made the dragon. Uh, you have the to train it. You've seen before the head. Well, the these are uh, these are earrings, um, and and I I love it. Nice work, David. Did he say what the substrate is? What the what the fabric he's he's printing these on? That's a, crazy. Uh, that's a beefy earring. It does. It looks like some kind yeah. of sheer fabric. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Like chiffon or uh, chiffon is that sure? Yeah, chiffon chiffon no. chiffon David, if you're if you're watching right now, David, let us know what kind of fabric are you using in this because this is a absolutely gorgeous print too. I think I would use it as a belly belly button ring though instead of earring. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, sure well. that would look gorgeous. Uh, thank you, Willow. Thank I you. I appreciate that. I I think um, if you ever do that, we need to see it. All right, just, just you know, sure. we need to Why see not? this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm my only fans, maybe. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you do it. I'll commission God. David to no, make you. No, God, a... please, no. <laughs> I'll commission David to make you a specific belly button ring if you do it. <laughs> that means I would have to get my belly button pierced. So I don't know about that. I'd probably yeah. cry like a baby. That's sacrificing for the job. Like other other uh, items as described or whatever. But wow. <laughs> next up, Chris. W uh, goes by White Raven. Um, this is a uh, Finnish soul bird and not. Um, I cannot. I'm not even going to try. Uh, it's reverse etched, and oh it's God, absolutely, like it. absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if we can blow this up a little bit. I don't. I don't know about you guys, but like that's my jam. Like when I'm drinking from my goblets, I gotta have some good artwork. <laughs> <laughs> Willow, what's your goblet co uh, collection look like? You know, when you're yeah, I got this one. <laughs> I like it. Yes. It's perfect. <laughs> Very classy. I got a couple yeah. other mugs. One with uh, a couple cosplay mugs as well. You fit in uh, really well here. We're very classy individuals. That's really, yeah. we do high class stuff here. It's all uh, about the goblets. Look at these. Um, that's an engraved, yeah, Jim. What was that? That's a is that a laser engraved? What it would yeah. it looks like it is uh it, it's engraved for sure. Let me go back to what he what he laser actually said. Laser etched, I think. Yeah. Uh, laser etched. Oh, it could be it yeah, could be reverse, ball, reverse etched on blue reverse goblet. Reverse etched, okay. Yeah. Okay. Really cool. I I love this. I think this is the first uh item of this type reversed etching we've shown and and it's an absolutely Awesome uh, thing. I hope we see more of this. I'd like to see more details on them, what the process actually is, because I haven't gone into what how you know reverse etching happens and stuff. Oh, look at this on the other side. I didn't even yeah, see that's this. Not. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's uh, not. Uh, not mention that again. <laughs> man. 
I think what it does is uh, it it roughs up the surface, so it creates like the mud diffuse surface, mm -hmm. and then it specifically leaves out the clear parts to create a picture, and that's why it's reverse. And oh. like I, I'm not sure how that malting surface, the roughing up process works, uh, but that's that's I think what it is. Well, White Raven, thank you for sharing. Maybe we can get some more detail and uh, follow up on a future episode. Yeah, like if, sure. if, I, if I see this, I would start Googling what it is. I would start Googling, like, how do you reverse edge stuff? And then I'd be like, <laughs> hey, I can do this for a project. Never stop yeah. learning, right? It's like the, Exactly, exactly. Yeah, Never yeah. stop learning. Beautiful. 3D print and paint. Uh, this is a aliens diorama. Here's the aliens. See, I was saying I was I was mixing my predator versus alien earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this out. Well, you like aliens? Uh, I've seen it. I'm not like a huge fan or anything. I'm yeah, just you're not a fan I, of the, the horror. I, I, I'm a baby movie. for horror movies. It's, yeah. it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I like the designs, though. I really like uh, how, to see how they did the costumes and all that. Of course. So when you look that's at so this, cool. you're like. When you look that's at this, you're like, cool. oh, you know, that's that's pretty cool, right? But but that's not really like the full picture. It's so not telling the whole story. Here. It's not telling it. There he is. There's the alien. <laughs> but check this out. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> so there's not too much dissimilarity between Rambo oh, yeah. and Sigourney here. I'm thinking. <laughs> also, that Jim, that that could be you. You know, Wexter. Has a very easy port now to doing his gym mini. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's almost got throw the some hair. glasses on that. Yeah, pull the hair down a little, and you got a gym. <laughs> uh, I love we it. We want to nice see it, Wexter. Work. We want to see there you it. Go. Yeah. There's the full. There's the full uh, diorama there. Very cool. I love so the smoke cool. with the little oh, like vape. the vape yeah. smoke. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I actually have one of those too. <laughs> I have made one of those uh, vape smokers too, yeah. For my nice. Questions. I love how the aliens just like peekaboo. It's just like yeah. Peek around. I, I well, my you. favorite part of this is, uh, you, you know, to actually show it off, you yeah. have to hurt your lungs a little bit, and that is like dedication. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he could have just stopped at placing the figures there, but he really went the extra mile to add like the 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 light, little uh, rotating lights and the, and the smoke and all the slime and stuff, and that's really cool. It's all about right. the details, right? Well, yeah, you know, exactly. You, yeah. you can just leave it at the figures and just put them there, but you can also do something like this for that. Yeah, Giri, uh, it's it, an extra step for sure. I think Geary's watching. Geary, what's what is your favorite uh, like movie or like is it is it Terminator? I, I figure it's something with some sort of mechanical where the, machine. where the machines win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My TPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. <laughs> well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Thanks. Uh, back. <laughs> there's we got, our boys we got a couple more i know we're going a little bit long but but that's okay worth it. Worth uh, it. this is worth it worth so this yeah. another wexter uh diorama available for patrons soon and i had to show this one first let's see if i can oh i can't there we go so this is uh this is the well i think you tagged this didn't you yeah, I can't remember. I well, can't I, I, I think table. multiple people did, but yeah. So, so this is like awesome, right? Because of course, this is the around the world. These guys just broke up. I, I heard they broke up after like twenty five years. Um, it's been a long time. Maybe we need a re reunion tour already. I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> but I, I love the fact that we we get to see kind of a little bit the before and then the next one, right? This is by Loyal Moses. Yeah. It's the Death Punk. Uh, same thing we just saw, but yeah. <laughs> bling, bling. Look at the bling. 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 <laughs> yeah. I love it. Hey, I wonder if you use uh, if you use P -T uh, P -E -T -G, if it would be any. Banner. Yeah. It or. Would. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm off. Apparently, we, I need to tweak our AI over here. We're gonna work on the on the timing. We gotta clip the lead out on those audio clips. But uh, dude, I love this. This is fantastic. Wexter is another. I uh, Willow, have you seen Wexter's little minis that he's just constantly? Absolutely, I love his work. Yeah, his wall is just full of them. And, oh man. Yeah, I I love these. I think I'm gonna have to print because last week our feature from Thangs was the masks, right? Right. 
So then all of a sudden, less than a week later, bam, we got him on uh, Wexter Models. Mm-hmm. I mean. Real time. Yeah, yeah. All right. right. So I have we have one more. One more. Last now, one. This Finish this strong. Just take us home strong, Jim. This one is serious. Okay. I'll I mean, be serious. It took a lot of making to make this happen. It's very brave to wear it. I, I just want to point it out. I mean, it, it's going to take – I mean, I'm not sure if, if Willow can compete with this, so you better just hold on to your chair. Buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy. We have, uh, we have Croc Spurs. Um, oh, I see them. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're amazing. Uh, croc, croc Spurs. I don't get it. I when you're riding your dragon, you need to have proper spur. It, it, like I guess I don't know. From where, where you're wearing your Crocs, riding your dragon. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me, but we didn't do it. Next week, so we'll show Maddie's uh, Croc underwear. So maybe this is part of that uh, <laughs> uh, uh, our tire as well. Oh, um, it's uh, absolutely crucial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's you know how do you how do you train your dragon? You have Croc spurs. I mean, <laughs> I I don't think I would wear Crocs if I was riding a dragon. I'm just saying, you know. What if you were oh, riding? A, really. what if you were, <laughs> it seems a little unsafe. <laughs> what if you were riding a crocodile? That's more of a close yeah. close toed shoe to endeavor, my friend. Like I'd go steel toe probably at the very least. But it's a Croc spur. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. I got it. I got it. We need uh we need Clock Spring to make a clo- uh, Croc spur. <laughs> clock, clock, Croc spur. Perfect. <laughs> Oh gosh. That was a lot of fun. Uh, good batch. Everybody keeps sending us the uh, hashtag hot mix so we can uh, feature your stuff or other awesome things that you guys see out on the socials. We would like to thank our guest uh, for, t- you know, we went a little long, but thank you for staying late with us here, Willow. I know it's getting, it's not that late where you are. No, no, it's it's uh, great for me. And we it's, appreciate it's also why, it. I, yeah, why I appreciate it for recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we definitely appreciate having you, having you on, and I know uh, you know all the hot makes. Everyone who made them out loves to hear from our guests about what they're making too. So it, it was fun to have you come. You know, throw your two cents, we'll say, into the hot makes. <laughs> I wish we had another four hours to talk about all your stuff because it is absolutely amazing. Uh, before before we you know turn it off, where can people find you? Where can they find Willow on you know social media? Uh, all my socials are called Willow Creative. Uh, they're a little bit differently formatted on several uh, platforms, but you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter foremost. Uh, I'm probably most active on Twitter nowadays, so it's uh, just Willow Creative underscore and. Uh, I do not have. I do have a YouTube, but I don't actively am a YouTube content creator. So you'll see me upload uh, videos every once in a while that I post on social media as well. And if they want to buy your stuff, um, yeah, just, where do they go? Uh, you can go to Etsy and uh, find my store, which is called Willow Creative. Uh, no, Willow Creative NL. So. Uh, We've got uh, it running from down. Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. A little creative in L. And uh, you can find a lot of my makes and 3D prints and uh, other yeah. soon stuff and all the other crazy stuff I make that I'm like, oh, I can make this for, for sale, you know? <laughs> I, 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 one last question. Do you do commissions? If, if, if I came and said, no. hey, I need a dragon. <laughs> she probably gets asked that all the time. I, I, I get... I get Dozens of questions for custom orders and commissions every week. Unfortunately, I can't do them anymore. Uh, as you can imagine, I'm very, very busy. And uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I made those cat masks this week, and I put them up for sale, and I sold 15. And now I have to cut it off because I can't. My princess can't run anymore. And I also have to, like, I also have to post process and assemble them. So all sure, that right. stuff gets a little bit too busy. And on top of that, I want to keep making my own projects. And if I take custom orders, I won't be able to do that anymore right we'll see all that that motivation for my own projects (laughs) we'll let you get back to it thank you so much for being on the show and spending the time with us and sharing all your stuff and hopefully we can do it again sometime soon thank you for having me i was a lot of fun i'm very happy to show my stuff and uh, show uh, my inspiration and everyone making all their stuff and showing it online and that's that's really nice to uh to talk about yeah, I, I love it. And and uh, hang out. Don't don't go anywhere because we only we have a giveaway still fifty dollars to Amazon courtesy of things uh, like we do every week all the way through the end of April now. So hang out with us for that. And maybe if we can talk them into it, a pooch rant. I'm not sure, though. What do you think? <laughs> 
I can I can channel my inner rage. I'm pretty sure I got something for you. All right, guys. Well, Thanks Willow, thank you again so much. Hang out right there. We'll be back with you in a second. But but thank you so much. Let's jump into a giveaway and uh, have a great night. Have a great night. All right, that was amazing. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you, thank you. Uh, that was all pooch. I just rode his coattails the whole episode. Uh, to, you know, the whole episode, we've seen some really cool uh, chat. And one of the big one was if we're really live or we're not. So the first person to throw a donation out there, we'll let you know if we're live. Go ahead. We'll, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. I don't, got, I don't have an audio from you. You want to waste my time? Okay. That's a, that's a pooch mute, I think. I'm here live. It's not, I'm not a cat. Live, my I'm voice a, wasn't live. I'm not a cat. <laughs> hey, you're there. <laughs> I'm here. I didn't get the continuity memo though, so it's like I got a haircut and I'm in a, a yeah. you know the shop yeah, yesterday. I apologize. The audio was crummy there. I got to get a better mic uh, at the uh, at the shop. <clears throat> but uh, that was so much fun. Uh, yes. What a surprise! To Willow stayed up late with us so that she was in the chat. Thank you for that. Um, right. Just a I just a you, great I, I, great interview. Yeah. Awesome, awesome interview. And if you're in the chat watching right now. She's probably maybe half awake still watching. So show your love right now. Let's blow up the chat with a thanks to Willow. Uh, hey, look, I saw. There you go. <laughs> I got to sleep. We'll blow up the chat anyways. Let's say thank you so much for her. Uh, that was awesome. I Like I said earlier when I was chatting, I wish we had like three hours because I would oh. love to go and like walk through her, her like maker closet. Like, can you imagine how much stuff she just has hanging there? When you get to be that level of a maker, it's like you have to have dedicated space just to display all the awesome stuff you've done. I mean, we didn't get, you know, Uncle Jesse was staying in the chat. Like, we didn't get to talk about her stilts. We didn't, my, my personal favorite, we didn't get to talk about her Samus outfit uh, from Metroid, which I really loved. Um, it was, I mean, there was just too much, too much to cover and right? hundred percent. And Builders Mark was the first to find out we are recording right now. Uh, thank you so much for your pre-recorded donation. We, we can't thank you enough for that. <laughs> we, uh, we didn't honestly expect Willow to stay up uh, with us. I think it worked out better because, uh, you know, she, she could give all her energy and, and uh, time to the, the whole thing. But we were happy to have her in the right. chat as well. And oh, uh, we try to go live as often as we can. But, you know, these pesky time zones, people, you know, we're sometimes gonna... uh, they, they just mess with, with, with our awesome creators on the other side of the planet. So we well, and, and I think it's a it's a great trade off for us to come in live and show an interview like that, and then come back live uh, to to actually get to interview people like Willow, who's on like you said the other side. It's like she's seven hours ahead of us right now, I think. And uh, if it takes us, you know, putting in some extra time, some extra work to pre record that for the show, I I hope you guys appreciate that because we love it, right? We sure do. <laughs> so long, giving, me, giving me some grief about actually getting an actual game reference right. You, here's the thing, man. If you get into my realm of gaming time, like in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, NES style gaming, like that's my jam right there. Okay, that's Metroid, probably. that was my jam. <laughs> I love it. Hey, th this is your last warning. If you're not signed up in the uh, registration for the $50 gift card, do it. If it says you are already in there, then that means you're already there. Don't worry about it. You're already there. Hey, I just wanted to throw this out. If Loyal Moses is still watching, <laughs> there he is. There he is. Let's Thank you, David little... Wilson. Thanks for being uh, you. My maybe, friend. maybe if I can get my face out of the picture, you, it'll. You gotta work on your focus, homie. There you go. I think it's because it says facial tracking. There we go. It's tracking. <laughs> it doesn't have helmet tracking though. That's All a right. good one. You knocked that yeah, out yeah. quick. Uh. He did the big yeah. ones today too, the big the big Daft Punks. So we'll mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll have that for next week's hot makes. That will be cool. Um, let's see, David Wilson, thank you again. Like Pooch said, I just saw it now, but uh, it is time to do a a fifty dollar Amazon gift card drawing. Wait, 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 wait. I, have, I have a little tiny baby rant though. Oh, you, have a, you want to do it before? Okay, get hey, run my little baby rant though, because I'll do it quick. Because I know everybody's got all to right. Get out of here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a baby rant. Just a little rant. Let's do it. Okay, this one really gets my craw, man, because I was out. Uh, I actually, you know, I don't haven't gone out to eat 
very often because we've had this whole thing called COVID. I don't know if you're paying attention. And uh, uh, so it was like, I actually went out for lunch uh, and it was a, so it was a nice day. It was outdoor seating. And uh, I got myself a nice, uh, you know, Arnold Palmer. Cause I like a good Arnie with lunch sometimes. And, uh, and, and of course I go and I get a straw and I swear the last couple of times I go out to a restaurant and I order a drink, they give you like the worst straws now where it was like, they're extruded like thinner than paper to the point where it's like you're trying to get the thing out of the wrapper without even bending it and busting a hole in the straw and rendering it useless. What is wrong with people? You know what? Stop trying to save money just so that you you know you you can sell more straws and at a, at a higher profit. You straw barons, you and get me one that works that I'm not gonna break just taking out of the wrapper. End rant. <laughs> well, you know what's funny. I call those California straws uh, because they're probably paper too, right? No, see, thankfully this one was in paper. We have those two, which also suck. Maybe coming to you for a, a future rant, but this was a plastic one that was like, it was it was thinner than th plastic wrap. It was terrible, man. I uh, I'm across not a fan these? of. I'm not a fan of paper straw. You know, the only thing paper straws make me do is drink my drinks faster. Yeah, because they get all. Pumpy. And then I have to use more paper straws because I can't use it twice. <laughs> more paper straws to suck up the paper pulp in your drink gross i call that fiber you know they you know why not uh <laughs> i love it i tell you what i'm gonna uh let's see i'm gonna share the wheel the da, wheel da, da. of fish <laughs> there we go drop it in red snapper yeah. whoa red whoa snapper. what's going on with our wheel man the wheel, wheel of fish sick. Well, what happened was, uh, I had to start over with the wheel. Yeah. Your 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 internet be slow, homie. Is it? Low. Load. What's going on? Oh, look at that. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew Rogers, for my straw fund. We've had, we've had lots <laughs> of straw jokes. Now you can buy at least uh, four slim straws. Yeah, don't tell me that, man. There's a whole bring your own straws. Like, Ooh. I don't want I don't want to wash a, a straw. Wash the straw is gross. Now. Yeah, What's I that? know, right? Yeah. A few moments a later. A few moments later. Yeah. All right, here we go. You ready? Here we go. $50 to Amazon Go. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Must be present. Got to be here. Got to pay to play. No, you don't have to pay to play. <laughs> You're a winner. I don't know. I Make yourself know. known, though. I don't know if that I've seen. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but Kenny T. I don't KT. Think, oh, hey, I see it. There he Woo! is. Whoa! Yes. He said, "Whoa!" Right. He won. He didn't think he could win. That's right. You can win. Everybody you can, can win. win. Congratulations! Ah. I'll get your info over to Miss Thang. She'll uh, send you an email and get you all hooked up with fifty dollars to Amazon, courtesy of Things, all the way through April. Right here on hashtag hot mix. If Kenneth, if Kenneth, real quick, tell us what you're gonna do with that fifty bones from uh, yeah. from Thangs. What do you what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Well, major award. <laughs> While he's doing that, how about you tell us what we do right here for all those new people watching before we take off? Listen, everybody, this is Hot Makes. This is the show where you tag hashtag Hot Makes on the Twitters, soon to be Instagram. We collect all of those tags, all of those amazing hotnesses. We find these amazing makers out there and we bring them to you every Woo. week, Monday night, 4 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. <laughs> Central, 7 p.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Netherlands time. Uh, and all the other time zones in between. So that's how it works. I hope you guys had some fun. We really enjoy this. We hope you learned something. We hope you laugh. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, I know I enjoyed actually getting to, to to chime in on the chat more. Yeah, you know, kind of kick my feet up, had a yeah. snack. I saw that. Good. I was like, I was getting a little worried. I, I was like, is he is he watching? We're gonna come back soon, and you're just like, la la la. la. <laughs> yeah. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, nom nom nom. Thank you guys so much for all the donations tonight. We really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much to to Willow. Uh, Mary, thank you for being on the show and, and hanging out with us yesterday and recording and hanging out with us tonight. You didn't have to do that. I, I imagine you're long sleeping by now, but uh, you guys were awesome. I had some amazing comments for her. And, uh, you know, I can't wait for next week. Next week, oh my gosh. Uncle Jesse's with us. He was going to bring his A game. That's a tough yeah, act yeah. to follow, Clayton. Let's yeah. see it. Bring it. 
Bring it. <laughs> and, you know, I think I can finally get out of this chair. I I really would like to. <laughs> been planted uh, firm for 48 yeah. hours now. Yeah. yeah. I've been here. I've been here for a minute. No. You guys have a great night. Um, we are going to get moving. We'll see you guys next week. Everybody, again, thank you for being here. Congratulations uh, on the win, Kenneth. And we will see you guys on the flip side. Hasta la bye bye. Wait, one more time. On the flip side. Oh. Woo! Woo! We're getting fancy. All right, guys. Have a great night. Happy, have a great week and uh happy hot makes. Bye.